Hey, what's up guys? It's Madison from MadTube, and today I'll be unboxing the LG NanoCell 43-inch 75 series TV. Let's get started. Okay. So, currently I have the Philips 32-inch TV with Roku that I got in a raffle, which, by the way, I, none of you know this, but I never win raffle things. It's just something that happens. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. Actually, just set this up. We were gonna order this on Best Buy because it was gonna be a week delivery, and then it said currently unavailable when we hit proceed to checkout to order it, which was weird because it said it was in stock before we went to the checkout part of it. So that was a bit annoying, but then we looked on Google and it was in stock at Walmart, and I was a little nervous to do that because Walmart is Walmart, but we went for it and it was supposed to come Friday, June, July 8th, which is 28 days before, or 20 days before my birthday, which is, this is a birthday present that came early. And it came in two days. And I was so excited when I saw it on the steps. And my dad's like, yeah, I got a text from Walmart. Our package has been delivered. I was like, no way. It's like he had to order something else and is pranking me. Because there's no way it would come in that short amount of time. The only reason why I wanted this specific TV is because the nano cell is a lot clearer. Do we know that? Because we have the nano cell and the non nano cell TVs. And I really wanted the magic remote. Because on all the other TVs, we have a dish. But my TV doesn't get dish. So I want a nice remote. I don't know if it already has plastic on the screen, so we're just not going to touch the screen. I don't want to find out. I was very excited for this upgrade because the TV I got was probably not going to be my first choice. But at the time, I really didn't care because I always wanted a TV. So I was like, sure, we'll put a rough, we'll take it in. She probably won't win it because you've never won any other ones. And I've got it. So that was a little funny. Um, so here it is. I have a, I forgot what it's called right now, but for it's, whatever it's called to go in the wall, right, right there. There it is. That's my TV now. Very small. Get an upgrade for a bigger one. So here it is. Um, I will be back when we have it set up and turned on. All right, guys, so I've had the TV for about a week now, and I love it so much more. It was a great birthday gift, even though I haven't had my birthday yet. Um, it is a lot better than the one I had, as I already stated, but I just love how it's so much easy to access apps and just quickly hit one, two, three, four, five, six, and it just takes me right to an app, and the easy button's at the bottom. I can hook the DVD player for these four buttons, and... Easily go home, go to my next app, do whatever I need to do. Um, easily find movies I like, like The Lost City. That was a great movie. Just click that and it takes me right to it. Um, and the picture is so much clearer than it was before. It's like insane how much it is. A dip how much of a difference there is. I love the homepage, it like gives you pictures and different things. Um, I hate that Peppa, Peppa Pig is up there, but you know, there we go, gone. Uh, I can go right to my switch, which is right there, easily, and then just turn my switch on and I'm already there. So much more efficient than finding the remote, switching the channels, and now it's just on my homepage. I love that you can see my room lights glare off the TV. Um, the remote is a big difference and a big step up. I love the picture it gives when <laughs> it's no single. The size is a lot better. 
Um, there's more. Like, the only button I ever used here was Netflix, because that's the only one I had out of these four. But now I have every one of these, so it works perfectly. Um, this would not... This is a really bad sensor. It was so hard to reach. I had to go, go right to the TV almost sometimes, because it would not work. New batteries didn't work, nothing. Um, I just like how this has so many more features. I did like the mute button was easy access, just from the side, up and down, didn't have to look. Now I just have to figure out what side, because I'm not used to doing the mute yet. But as soon as I get used to the remote, it'll be a lot more efficient. Um, other than that, I love this TV so much more. In a few seconds, I'll show you the before and after of the TVs. Focus. There we go. Um, and then you will see the difference between the one TV and the second TV. It's kind of hard to show on like one screen, but from camera to camera, but it might, you might be able to see a difference. But anyway, here is a comparison. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the comparison and the video all together. I will have a review on this and tell you all the cool features it has, what I like, what I don't like, and what I think they could improve on if I find anything. But there's always room for improvement, so there's that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!